Elena. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. So, um, Slug Mix is kind of like a celebrity news, but it's also a pop culture website. So, a lot of the stuff that we talk about has to do with like TV from you know old to new shows coming out. So, why do you think binge watching has become such a staple with everyone from you know millennials to grandparents? Well, I think the first thing is we're impatient and we love instant gratification. So as soon as the, um, you know, as, as shows started being released in uh, batch format versus episodic, I think people just really glommed onto it because they didn't have to wait for cliffhangers. They didn't uh, have to wait to the next week or some, some shows were taking, you know, two week gaps or holiday gaps. Now you can just watch what you want when you want. Uh, the other thing is we're on the go a lot more. We're not you know, sitting there at 8 o'clock on Thursday night waiting for friends to come on. So, um, you know, the, the idea of being able to just have your phone or click on your TV whenever you're ready uh, is just really appealing. Yeah, and then so that kind of goes into my next question, streaming video. How do you think that's changed the way we watch television? Is it because it's so easy since we're on the go so much? Yeah, I think it's convenience and choice. I mean, there's so much more to there's so much more to watch and catch up on, and it's convenient. It's when you want it. Right. And then, what highly anticipated shows will be able um, will we be able to watch coming up in September? I'm really excited because uh, this month is fall uh, fall comedy month for us at Amazon Video, and so uh, with your Prime membership, you can stream all of our new shows. Uh, for free. Uh, we have two new dark comedies coming out, uh, Fleabag and One Mississippi. We also have Crisis in Six Scenes. That one uh, has Miley Cyrus in it, uh, set in the 60s. I think it's going to be a really fun one. And um, of course, our Emmy winning, Golden Globe winning series, uh, Transparent, is back for season three. That one will, will release on September 22nd. So if you haven't watched uh, seasons one and two, there is some time to binge before that new, uh, new season comes out. And then what are some other shows um, that are not really on our radar right now but you think should be? Well, interestingly, I'm sure your viewers are probably well aware of Stranger Things on Netflix. That one actually came out this summer, but a lot of people who didn't get to watch it this summer are now starting to tune in for it this fall. I think that one uh, is just gripping. It, uh, you kind of get sucked in right away. Uh, it's a sci-fi thriller, has Winona Ryder. I really have enjoyed that one. Um, some other ones that, uh, you know, people are, should be checking out, Bosch is one of our Amazon shows. Uh, it's set here in L.A., and uh, it's a police drama. Uh, I think it's a, they do such a nice job on that. It follows the Michael Connelly series, if you're uh, an avid reader of that. Yeah. And then, so, how about going off of binge watching a little bit? Are there any shows that you personally wouldn't want to binge watch because you kind of like having to wait, you know, the anticipation? I don't know. That's a tough one I because know. I really just am so used to on-demand viewing. Um, I uh, watch almost everything on Amazon or on Netflix. So uh, I don't know if there's something that I would love uh, to not have to watch. I, I just, I really do like the instant gratification. Right. And then what are some of your favorite shows to watch? Well, House of Cards is definitely um, at the top of the list. Uh, I really love political dramas. Um, Mr. Robot came out, and uh, we got that on um, Prime Video, so I was able to binge watch that, and I think I did that in two days. I was hooked. It was so good. Remy Malek is the um, actor in that, uh, in that series, and, and he just does such a fantastic job. So um, that, that's definitely... Um, probably my second favorite. And then uh, I do love Veep. I really, uh, I just think Tony Hale in that show is so funny. Um, I pretty much watch it for him. Uh, so that's a good one to watch. You know, we never heard about that. So maybe some of our readers will be into that one. Um, now the Emmys are coming up this weekend. So what shows do you think are going to be the big winners? And is there anything we should try to get in to see before the Emmys premiere? Well, I mentioned uh, um, Mr. Robot. I do think that one's worth watching, at least, you know, the first three or four episodes before the Emmys. I, I think that one's going to come away with the outstanding drama series. Um, Game of Thrones is going to be, you know, a, a really tough runner for them. I know that one is incredibly popular. 
Uh, they won last year, and, and it's not unheard of to go back-to-back, -back, but um, there's something about Mr. Robot that I think is going to eke out the win. Um, on the comedy side, you know, I it's tough between Veep and Transparent. Um, I think Veep continues to win, but uh, Transparent uh, is just a their, season two was really interesting. Uh, it really dove into some um, great character development for Maura Pfefferman, who uh, is the character Jeffrey Tambor plays. So I think we're going to see that one win for Outstanding Comedy Series. Great. And then where can viewers or listeners go for more information on what we should be watching this fall? Well, download the Amazon Video app. Uh, you can get that from any app store and uh, for, for your mobile devices. Also, I know uh, most people have smart TVs now. Um, and, and what people might not know is that we have Amazon Video or Netflix or Hulu all embedded into those smart TVs. So really easy just to click there. Or you can always um, go to Amazon.com slash video on your computer. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. And I hope you have a good one. Thank you. You too.